Springtime in Canada, next on The Journal. Hi friends, and welcome. On today's adventure, we're going, as promised, back up to Esnagami Lodge to show you some of the rest of what Tina and I did there on our springtime trip. Now I should say, for those of you that write in and complain we don't tell you where we're fishing, I'm going to try to name every single place we go on this show. Yeah, I don't try to hide things from people. I certainly want them to know just how great the fishing is when we go up there. And we were going, after three years, to try to get on the river and do some trout fishing. There are some of the biggest brook trout I have ever personally caught in the Esnagami River. And Eric said if we could make it up there, weather permitting, we'd take a run at them. up sideways. What do you say to that? If you can. Or not. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's a, that's a big fish. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Gorgeous, boss. Holy smokes. You think? That's a beast. Well, that's why it took so long to get that one in. Work your hook out there and grab a camera and we'll get a picture, all right? All right, give me a sec. Well, those really are some awesome brook trout, but we had a couple of more days in camp, and you know if you go to Canada in the springtime, you're going to fish for walleye, and I'm definitely going to go and try sight fishing some of those big northerns in the bays. Friends, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal, and we're springtime fishing in Canada right now. Heavy fish. Pick up a lot of stank. Oh, yes, girl. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> See if I got enough hand for this one. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is another dandy, dandy fish. There's 20. I don't know. I hate to estimate. It just. Mm -hmm. We call these after dinner fish. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. All right. Friends, we hadn't run five minutes from the lodge that evening after dinner. We were actually fishing out by Fire Island, and after catching a couple of real nice ones there, Tina said, Hey, let's go out and try by squirrel. And we hadn't been there two minutes, and yeah, Tina did, but after Tina dinner, does. Oh, yeah, and a nice after dinner fish. Look at that. That's another dandy. I tell you, there's some big fish hitting this evening. You want to have that or are you going to get it? Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Nice job. Thank you. That is worth coming out after supper for. We're getting some nice ones. We are. We just got course, a nice one, too. Kind of usually do. You're like that. I'm going to put it back. All right. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hey. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. It was. It's pretty. It's sunset. And then she did it again. Got fish? I think so. I see fish. I see swimming jig head down there deep. There he comes. Oh, yeah. He's got you, maybe. <laughs> there you are. Another one. The Saturday evening walleye bite is on. He just hooked him just enough. Yep. All right. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Very pretty. Yeah. All right. If you're not going to eat them. <laughs> the sun was dropping toward the horizon, but oh, the fishing? Honey. Something really dogging. Oh, look down here in the water. This down. walleye. <gasps> look at that. Beautiful. That is a dandy. You know, he's not impressed with me at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay down there. Beautiful. That is a dandy. Gonna put her back. She'll be here when the next crew gets here. Look at that. I mean to tell you, that's some Canadian gold right there. Yes, it is. That's a beauty. 
that's not really a smile on my face. Uh, it's a grimace. <laughs> that, that heavy lift in my shoulder was hurting. Yeah? No? <laughs> You're not believing it? <laughs> I know. That, uh, that's a good one right there. That's Beautiful. That's a real good one. Let's, uh, let's go see if we can find another one of them before that sun goes down. The big fish were definitely hitting out at Squirrel Island as well, and they kept right on hitting as we worked our way around the west side headed out toward Whirler. Uh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You want a hand with that? No, I think I can get it. Oh, oh just hooked too. Sweet. Nice job. Yeah. That's a good fish. He's kind of pretty. Yeah, he's not kind of pretty. He's real pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. Keeping it or no? No, I'm going to let him go. All right. Okay. There's some fish here. There were lots of fish there, in fact, There's just as one of the other guests was going by, headed back to the lodge. Somebody running over there. There's a fish over here. They're running the wrong way. And well, then, just good. as they came alongside us, they shut it down. You know, I believe there's a universal message in the symbol or the sight of a doubled over rod and a splash in fish. Yeah, it's kind of hard to resist. Come here, buddy. Yeah, it is. Not quite as big as the ones you're catching, but. The one that you caught was something yeah, else. Yeah, there was one big one. Give me some of my yeah. jig back. Look at that. <laughs> That's all right, right? Yep, looks good. It's a nice after dinner fish. Whoop. <laughs> you see this side? Yep. <laughs> you see that? Side? Yeah, how about we just put him back? <laughs> he was now, friends, you know what happens when I occasionally really nice catch a fish. fish. Look, That's a big fish, girl. Yep. It's going to be over 20. You want a hand with that? No, I got it. Right. He's going to get you bumped. Oh, you want to wound yourself up? Don't do that. Any bigger, your hand wouldn't fit on it. In the setting sun. <laughs> nice job. Pretty. Yep. Okay. We could see more boats headed for the lodge, but if you know Tina at all, you know yeah, it ain't over till she says it's over. Come on. In the fading sun, Tina says, I'm still doing it. That one. I thought we were going in. We were. One last cast? One last cast. Yeah, it's working, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he, he don't think it's cool. Nope. Okay, come on. Boy, that's a dead. Come on. You make that look so easy. There. What a beautiful picture. Awesome, girl. So much for we're going. Okay. <laughs> okay, go on in. There you go. He said thank you very much. Not. Just pounded him. Yep. Had enough? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> now, apparently, my friends, it was time to go. That evening was definitely a great way to end a perfect day out on the lake. We caught so many great walleye, and even though I could see there was weather building in as we motored toward the lodge that night, I knew it'd be good tomorrow if we could stay out of the south wind they had forecast to be 20 to 30 mile an hour. So Tina and I got up, got our breakfast, and friends, we headed to Betty Falls. It's a pretty good run down to Betty Falls, but with that south wind building, I was hopeful it would offer at least some protection. This is a secret spot. Don't tell anybody where we are. They'll never know. Yes, Betty Falls is a well-known place on the lake, and for good reason. Fish? Oh, a little better fish, eh? Yeah. Don't let him beat you up. Don't let him bully you, Tina. Oh, Tina, don't lose him. <laughs> That's a good one. Tough day, windy day, but the walleye are definitely biting. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. <laughs> the walleye out in front of Betty Falls were biting. In fact, they were even biting my big pike baits. Like a pike. Look at that. Talk about 
Yes, it was windy, but fortunately our choice to stay on the south shore down by Betty Falls was keeping us out of the worst of it. And when I started hooking fish on those big glide baits I throw for pike, I figured, you know, let's try the little bay up behind the falls there, see are there any fish being pushed up in there. And friends, just for the record, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't fish big baits for pike in the springtime. There's some fish in here. Now friends, if you know me, you know I love sight fishing big pike. There's one. Right there. Especially when it works. Don't feel like a real big one, but it's a pike. Oh, you bad? 30. Nice big, big fish. Maybe not 30, I don't know. I like it, I know that. <laughs> There. Get that glide bait. Gonna bump into some stuff here. I think he's quite done. No, he is not. Found one, honey. Oh. Not a huge one, but a nice one. We don't have a cradle or nothing. Easy now. that pig. He'd been sitting in here grabbing stuff, blowing in here. If he was any fatter, he'd burst. <laughs> Look at that belly. That's all right. Thanks for coming out and playing our game, like I always say. We're going to put that one back, trying to see is his grandma running around somewhere, all right? <laughs> well, there. It's windy. It's bumpy. But just like always, when it gets like that, the fish are biting it as Nagami. That was that was not a big one by any stretch, but it wasn't a baby. <laughs> After a few more fish on that big bait, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try my fly rod. Now, I really like catching pike on a fly rod, but it was so windy and I was having so much trouble controlling my cast and the boat that I decided we'll run up the zipper up by Wildcat Narrows and I can throw a few flies around there. But friends, the truth was, same problem. Just too much wind, I decided to go back to spinning gear. And that did work a little better. Oh, yeah. oh, not a bad fish, not a big fish, but not a bad fish. That looks good enough for me. Same possum, are you gonna come in here nice and gentle? That I don't think so. Despite it being really windy, we had caught a great number of fish and some pretty good ones. No big pike though, not yet. And I told Eric, you know, tomorrow being our last day, I'd like to go out and try one more time to hook up one of those big toothy critters. And he assured me, despite the fact that it was forecast to rain, we would go out and he would do his level best to fix that. And unfortunately, this time, the weather guessers were right. We waited out some heavier showers first thing in the morning and then headed out despite some showers still moving through. And friends, I have to tell you, as advertised, Eric Lund, the Lord of the Fly, yeah, you can get it done. Yeah. What's the deal? Well, the deal is... <laughs> the fish are biting. The fish are biting. <laughs> it is nice to get back to somewhere where it's been a couple of years. And, uh, well, that's a good uh, fish there, buddy. Pike in the shallows. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Chasing some spring pike. Yep. That's a pretty good start, man. You were wondering why I was putting that laundry on on the end of the. Yeah. There's a nice start. That is a good 
good start. Nice fish, boss. Well, you do that like you've done it before. Oh, well, yeah, a couple of three times. And uh, we'll do it hopefully another couple, three times here, yet. All right, well, hopefully it'll quit raining. Yeah, yeah, it's just enough to kind of put a little damper on things, but good fishing conditions. Yeah. All right, well, do it again. Well, it hadn't quit raining, not yet, but you know, it didn't really seem to bother us. Casting that way. I get it. Not when the fish were biting, anyway. Well, as I was releasing that fish, a pretty good fish, at least for me, Eric, of course, was out there throwing it. If you know anything about us, flipping around, and once in a while, I think I'm landing near something that actually moves. Well, that looks like it moves. Well, then you know he's not only a great friend of mine, we are just a touch competitive, too. Yeah, especially when it comes to pike fishing. Very, very busy this year. We have the good fortune of the lodges. Well, I appreciate you coming out and helping me, giving me some lessons. I'm still learning. Obviously, I haven't learned well enough. Well, he's not huge, but... Uh, well, it looks pretty nice to me. It's 32. 32, we'll take that. Nothing. Awesome, well, hey, you still got it. Yeah. You may be busy working, you may not get to come out here enough, but. Well, you know what they say about riding a bike? It might be the same with this. There he goes. So. So, that fly rod thing's still working. Nice still job. Working. Yeah, yes, it's awesome. You keep it up, you're gonna make me throw one. Okay. But well, you're gonna have to you show me. I'm that, that might have been that promise right there. Yeah, that uh, once is an accident, twice is a coincidence, three times is a fact. Well, we'll see if we can get that third one going. Nice job, boss. All right, thank you. Another big pike on the fly rod. And friends, with time running out, I knew that meant if things didn't change pretty quick, I was going to have to listen to the fly rod thing for at least another year all the way to next spring. We were leaving in a few hours. I will tell you, I actually considered pulling out my fly rod. That seemed to be what they were hitting, but I am, in the end, a true believer. I believe you should dance with the girl that brung you, and that's exactly what I was going to do. Look at that. And friends,